Hello and welcome to question three, example sheet three. Um, very similar question to last time. You'll notice we've got the same diagram here. Um, air enters the compressor of a gas turbine at 300 Kelvin. So this is the point T1 here on the TS diagram. And pressure one is also given. Then where it's compressed to 700 kPa, so that's P2 and temperature of 580 Kelvin so that's T2 temperature at 2 heat is transferred in the amount of 950 kilojoules per kilogram so this is Q in this is from points 3 point 2 to 3 so this equation is relevant um, turbine efficiency is given of 86% Notice at the end of the question it says assume variable specific heats for air. So what this means is CP is not assumed constant and therefore you should be using the thermodynamics property tables. Okay, so for part A of the question we've been asked to find the fraction of the turbine work output used to drive the compressor. Fraction of this work can be expressed as the work of the compressor divided by the work of the turbine which is also the work in divided by the work out and this is clearly since the compressor is acting between stages 1 and 2 and the turbine between stages 3 and 4 this is then equal to H2 minus H1 divided by H3 minus H4. Now, of course, these points here, H4 and H2, are the actual points, not the isentropic points. Okay, so in order to work this out, we're obviously interested in finding H1, H2, H3, and H4. Now, in order to find H1, um, we've been given a temperature at 1. So, using the table, a17 you'll find that H1 is equal to 300.19 kilojoules per kg you'll find that H2 since T2 is, is also given H2 is equal to 586.04 kilojoules per kg so therefore we found H1 and H2. Now in order to calculate H3, well Q in has been given and we know that Q in is equal to H3 minus H2. Having just calculated H2 we can simply rearrange this. H3 is equal to 1536.04 kilojoules per kg and of course you can interpolate this the pressure ratio at 3 which is equal to 474.11 once you found H3 we're then able to find H4S and once we found H4S we can then find the H4A value. Now in order to find H4S we use we know that the pressure ratio is equal to P2 over P1 and since both of these values have been given okay so PR4 over PR3 is equal to P4 over P3 so then simply rearranging this we can find the value of PR4 which is equal to P4 over P3 PR3 of course which is equal to 1 over 7 of course think of your PV diagram for this cycle uh, 1 over 7 times uh, 474.11 which we previously just calculated and that will give you a value of PR4 equal to 67.73 now of course from this you can now interpolate and you'll find the value of H4S 
equal to 905.83 kilojoules per kg. Now of course it's really important to note that this is the isentropic point H4S that we found because the pressure ratio has been used. So now we have H4S, we can find H4A since we've been given the isentropic efficiency of the turbine. So you can rearrange this now to find H4A because we've got the values of H3 and the value of H4S and the value of isentropic efficiency of the turbine. So H4A is equal to... So subbing in the values you'll find... And that will give you a value of H4A equal to 994.05 kilojoules per kg. Scrolling up you'll see now we have all of the values that we need to complete this equation here and find what we're looking for. And that will give you a value of 0.5274. Therefore the answer to part A of the question the fraction of turbine work output used to drive the compressor is in fact 52.7%. Okay, so considering part B, the, the thermal efficiency. Um, we know that N thermal is equal to W net out divided by Q in. And we know W net out is equal to W out minus W in over Q in. And we know that the work out is represented by H3 minus H4A across the turbine. And then of course this is minus the work in, which is the work across the compressor, which is H2A minus H1, all divided by Q in. And Q in, of course, is made up of H3 minus H2, the heat added during combustion. And therefore, when you sub in the values to this equation, you get an answer equal to 0 0.2696, which, of course, expressed as a percentage is 26.96%.